Uh, is the custom of breaking the fast of the firstborn early by making or attending a siyum a valid custom, or is it preferable to fast? And I think behind that is the related, the, the obvious question is, should firstborns be fasting on, on or this year Thursday before Pesach? Right. Well, on the one hand, there is a, a source in Masech and Soferim, and it's also alluded to in the Tamud Yerushalmi, uh, but from the Yerushalmi, it's not clear that all people, all Bechoroth, fasted on uh, on uh, Yud Gimel, um, uh, on, 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 on what we call Tanit Bechoroth. Um, <clears throat> From from the Yerushalmi, from the Yerushalmi, it seems that not everyone was doing so. Practically, we see that Am Yisrael, for many many generations now, has decided that uh, it does not want to, practically speaking, uh, continue with this custom, but rather than make such a a uh, clean break, as it were and openly say, well, we, we do not wish to, or we find it too difficult to fast, then uh, the custom came about of doing a seal or something like that in order to get out of, of uh, fasting. As the Aruch Shulhan writes that, Lo ra'inu wa lo shamanu, uh, we have not heard for many, many generations anyone who actually fasts on, on this day. So, I would say that if, practically speaking, Amisha does not fast, then you cannot claim there's a minhag to fast. You cannot claim there's a minhag to fast because many people are going to a siyum, so they won't have to fast. The practice, the, the mitzvah is no one's fasting. So it seems to me that this, this minhag has, has uh, the sibur has not, uh, has, has decided does not want to continue with this minhag. Um, and if, uh, if one had the, 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 the previous practice of of, follow, of keeping the fast and not attending to a, not attending a siyum, um, and now wants to change that, should one do hatarat nadarim? Yes, I think one should. Thank you, Rabbi Bar Chaim. We would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses. We would also like to suggest the following opportunity to our viewers. If you identify with Rabbi Bar Chaim's message, and would like to sponsor or dedicate a video interview with the rabbi in honor or memory of a loved one. If you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Yisrael or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, please email us at office at machonchilo.org. If you are inspired by Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to get involved in Torah Eretz Yisrael activities in your local area, please fill out the relevant form by going to the link which appears on the screen.